Hi everyone, I have got my new Wink box in. This is my 14th box of Wink wine. I've got four delicious bottles of wine in here. Well, actually, as you can see, I took them out or I would not be able to do this. But anyway, I'm so glad that you guys are here. It's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. And I love their motto, thirsty is no way to live. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Wink Wine Diary series. I am so loving this and I've had such good luck. Of course, you know, as sometimes as soon as you say something like that, you jinx yourself and then you get a bottle that you're not quite crazy about. But anyway, I have had some really good luck with Wink Wine and it's a subscription box that you can get every month. At least I choose to get mine every month. And I've got my February box because I'm a little far behind in filming sometimes. But anyway, so this for this month, I asked them to choose all red wines for me. So I'm excited. It's still deep in the heart of winter here. We got some snow going on right now. It's supposed to snow tomorrow again. And I'm just in the mood for some comfort food, some nice warm wines to go with it. And a little bit of fun company like you guys to share it with. So anyway, I'm going to have that first video that I did up there of the Wink Wine. I'm going to have a playlist at the end that's going to show you the different types of wines that I've gotten from them, maybe different meals or snacks that I've posted with them. And I think at the beginning I was trying to do all four bottles at once, so I didn't get to do too much snacking with it. But no matter how I tried to cut it down and edit, they were just way too long. And, you know, I, I kind of like to keep these between 10 and 15 minutes. I do not always have that luck, but... I'm trying. So anyway, in my description below as well, I'm going to have some information on Wink Wine, W-I-N-C, and that description in that box is going to take you right to the Wink website. If this is something that you're interested in trying for yourself, you get wines from all over the world, all different varietals. Um, you're going to take a quick quiz and it's not on what kind of wines do you like or what do you normally drink, blah, blah, blah. It's what kind of foods do you like? What, you know, what coffee? Do you use cream? Do you use sugar? Do you like sweet? Do you like sour or whatever, salty, whatever. And from that, they curate a box of four different wines for you. You do tell them if you want reds, whites, or if you want to mix or however you want to mix that. And um, from there, they curate a box. If you know what you love about wines and you, you know you do not have to take their suggestions at all, you can take or purchase anything that you want from them. Uh, your first box, using my link, is going to be $29.99 total honesty here. You can go to their website and do the same thing without using my link. But if you use my link, you get a free bottle of wine. I know. Isn't that great? And um, anyway, if you decide you like it and you stick with it and you want to do it another month, your next month is going to be $59. Shipping, by the way, is free on both of those. So anyway, we're going to get into the one we chose. And again, so I got four reds this month. I got one from Chile, one from Argentina, and two from Australia. So we are going to open the one from Australia. I've got it open, breathing, and this is a Shiraz. It's from far and wide. It's 14.6% per per alcohol, and it was rated 3.9 out of 5 out of the 4,000 950 people that tasted it. And I know it's not St. Patrick's Day yet, but I got my new glass in, so I just had to share it with you guys. So this is from that uh, Snap Elf that I got some of those really fun Christmas uh, ugly sweater glass and the other one with my name on it. So anyway, shipping is really fast and should just, you know, hand put your name on it. So much fun. So I've got this one here for St. Patty's Day, but I figure it's close enough. I'm in green. Oops, you probably noticed I've got another, I got another tiara on my head. I do not know how that happened. I honestly don't. I was trying to be so careful. I am so accident prone. Things just keep falling into my cart. 
I have no control over accidents, but I'm really, really trying. Alrighty, so let's, I, I forgot my aerator again. Oh well. So anyway, let's pour it in here. It's a nice, kind of like a brownish kind of red color. A little burgundy here. Let's see if I can. And it is coating my glass rather nicely. I got a little drip right there, so let me catch that. Alrighty, so let's kind of stir this around, see what I can sense in here for fragrances. So again, I'm having so much fun with this and just tasting different wines and uh, making them last throughout the week. So I'm just trying to do one every Friday. Sometimes I skip if it happens to be, you know, like sometimes things happen, you know. Alrighty, before this spills out. And I got those candles kind of balanced on my vampire wine bottles. Yeah, pretty dangerous. Alrighty, I'll take a sniff. So, I smell blackberry. Something earthy. I'm not sure what it is. And it's not oak, but I do sense something, some kind of wood in here. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy cute St. Patty's Glass Day. Glass. Mmm. This has got a heavy, heavy texture. Again, it's that velvety, it's velvety smooth, it's rich. I could feel the heat right in here, so there might be some kind of spices in here that are doing that. Again, it's room temperature, so those flavors are just kind of accentuated. A little bit of um, the citric, citric acid from the fruits, I can just kind of taste a, a little bit back here. My mouth is starting to water, probably from the blackberry but it's a nice, warm, inviting wine. I'm going to have another quick sip, and then we'll talk about the wine and the dinner I'm having with it tonight. It's a kind of boring dinner. Anyway, cheers. Mm. This is really nice. Really enjoying, going to enjoy this wine. Alrighty, so it's 2020. Or my cheat sheet. Let me grab it so I can read it. Um, 2020 Far and Wide Shiraz. It's from South Australia. It's been rated 3.9 out of... Sorry, I think I said the amount wrong. I didn't have the, my notes close enough to me. So it was rated 3.9 out of the 4,050 people that tasted and rated it. It says it's friendly, earthy, and meaty. It's got a full body. I agree with that. Dry... 14.6% alcohol. Tasting notes of blackberry, cedar, so that's that wood that I was sen sensing, earth and mushroom. So kind of explains that. And it says, the signature grape of Australia, this Shiraz, is packed with dark fruit and earth flavors. Far and wide explores varietals from the far reaches of the globe, like Shiraz, a grape that Australia has truly made its own. Named Syrah elsewhere in the world, the Aussies knew that they had the ideal territory, or I'm not exactly sure what that word says. I'm going to put the Y at the end to showcase this grape in its unique and memorable way. This Shiraz is all you'd expect. Bold, spicy, and earthy. But the addition of some grapes sourced from a cooler climate adds lift and brightness creating a robust wine that also has nuance it's hard to think of a wine that will perform better at your next barbecue friendly hi wine it's a hi back to me it is friendly friendly easy to drink and even even easier to pair with food this wine will take you to new destinations. It says to serve it at room temperature. It says it pairs well with burgers, ribs, pork, and fish. So out of the, and I printed the guide as well for the month. And so for the Shiraz, they suggest having it with a creamy mushroom pasta. And it gives you the recipe online if you wanted to do that. But, you know, I'm not really into into that. So what I decided to do, I was in the mood for something comfort food. So I was in the mood for meatloaf. So I made a meatloaf with a brown gravy. A lot of times I don't. I use a tomato sauce and sometimes I cheat and I put bacon on top of it as well. 
but I didn't this time. I was good. So I got a canned, yeah, I'm sorry, a canned brown gravy and mushroom gravy to put on it. I mashed up some potatoes and um, just some corn. I know it's a boring meal, but I thought because pasta with the brown gravy and mushrooms would pair well so with my meatloaf. So I got some slices of meatloaf and then I've got the rest of the pan that I can have during the week for lunch and leftovers for dinner. I've got some frozen corn here. It was two cup white and gold corn. I, I don't know. But anyway, it's, you steam it in the bag and there you go. And then potatoes that I have some. And of course I use chopped onions and garlic. Yeah, in there. So anyway, that's going to be my dinner to go with my wine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna knock something over, so I'm gonna be very very careful. Alrighty, so that was my dinner. I am loving my little glass here from Snap Elf. I'm going to leave her link below as well. It's a small Etsy shop. She really makes some really fun glasses. Put your name on them, and so it's just you know she ships like within two days, and I think yeah, two days after she shipped it, I had it. So it's been sitting on my counter waiting, and I was gonna wait for St. Patty's Day but I couldn't. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. You guys mean so much to me and I am so lucky. I'm so blessed. I'm so honored to have you guys in my life and it means so much to me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would please hit that little subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back for future videos. In fact, if you guys wanted to share them, especially when I do the vinyl ones, because, you know, hashtag Nancy wants to PR for vinyl. Maybe if enough people share my videos with that hashtag in there, someone might know someone that knows someone that knows someone that works at Pino. Yeah, and they might give me a shot. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. I hope you go out, have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Have lots of fun. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Or if you just want to be alone and relax after a tough day, tough week at work, you do that. Netflix and chill. Have a glass of wine. Order some pizza. And just, just relax. Sometimes that's the best part. Of life is just relaxing but anyway take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have fun love you guys so much can't wait to see you in the next video bye bye